So on our agenda, I'm gonna go over our new enhancements in the mobile app on version 1.27. Um, that was just most recently uh, released on Monday. And then coming soon enhancements that are in the works. And then I'm gonna go over our tips and tricks today. So I like to start us off with some bug fixes in the most recent release. We had a lot of great fixes coming our way. So we recently had a report from our support team that a customer was experiencing zero total neighbors populating in their mobile app. And we fixed the total neighbors count in, your, in the most latest version. So I'm really excited to get that fixed. And I'm really happy that somebody reported to us that we can get, get that fixed in time. Um, just some background information on what total neighbors are. Neighbors are collected daily by Nosy to mail postcards and send emails to. So I'm gonna walk us through the neighbor collection process and our tips and tricks. On our last webinar, there was a question about where to find the neighbor's addresses um, to mail CM CMA to. So I added a little blue star next to the, their address on my slide. That blue star is not in the mobile app, but I just wanted to highlight that's where you would find the address. And you could find the, the address on their neighbor card. So you'll wanna na navigate to their neighbor's tab, select their name, pull up their address that way. And when I say the neighbor's tab, that's that footer with the icons where you can see the contacts and the neighbors, um, also the dashboard and the map view. So go ahead and go through that on the mobile app and then you can be able to grab those addresses just in the CMA, CMA too. Um, this layout is the same from context as well if you're just curious because I am showing a neighbor card here. So you'll just wanna be able to grab those addresses for context as well. And there's also been some reports that the app is taking some time to load or sometimes not even loading at all for you. Um, this can be caused by a brief loss of signal. This does happen sometimes when you're traveling between towers. So we added in an error message on iOS for Apple devices to let you know you need to reconnect your device to your network and reopen the application. We are currently in development on working on the same error message on Android. So if you are encountering this, that's most likely why. And I just wanted to, to address it on the webinar. Yeah, Gracie, I actually experience this every time I get into my car and go out of Wi-Fi range <laughs> on Spotify. <laughs> so um, this is not not uh, unique to Nosy Neighbor. It's basically every mobile app um, out there experiences this similar similar phenomenon. Oh, yeah, and hopefully this helpful error message is helpful. I know it's not the greatest um, user experience because you do have to restart the app um, to reconnect everything but um, I just wanted to address it in case you ever encountered it. And then we also had one other issue, which is the call now list. If you looked at the suggested script for making a call, only on sold listings, it would crash. Um, it is a very, very strange bug, um, but we got that fixed and that's for Android and Apple. So I apologize for this inconvenience and I'm really happy we got this resolved. Um, it was very hard to find this one because it's like a needle in the haystack because the just listeds were working just fine. Um, there was that sold listing that was getting us. So those are the, that's all the bugs that we fixed on that version. Um, and if any of these issues have not been addressed for you in this most recent mobile version that we just did on Monday, um, please take a moment and contact our support team so we can get this resolved. It's so important to us that we're providing the best customer experience on Nosy Neighbor that we can provide for you. And we're always making time to build a new enhancements and also fix bugs as they come up. So um, welcome to email our support team at support at nosyneighbor.com. They're available from nine to five Eastern time, Monday through Friday. And they're, and they're really good at responding and, and getting answers for you. So please don't hesitate to reach out, even if you're unsure if it's a bug. Um, our team can also explain how the product works and help with any confusion that you might be having. Um, and then also on the contact page, you can submit this contact page that I have on this on the slide deck for you. That's going to be on the Nosy Neighbor website under the support tab on the top right. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, those directly come to our team. And then I look at them and then I try to get it in as soon as possible to fix those, fix those horrible bugs for you. So I'm glad that we got a lot of great changes out. And then I have some really good things to talk about today. So I wanna talk about enhancements. I'm really excited to share with you that we have the neighbor experience um, is live. So if you're on the Nosy Neighbor app, click on the upper right gear icon. There are two sections that will appear, the support and help, and then how it works. 
you'll wanna go into the how it works section. And then you'll notice there are three new sections, which are preview postcards, preview Google ads, and receive all the neighbor emails. So the preview, the postcard preview will display your nosy neighbor account information. You'll be able to view exactly what a neighbor receives in the mail from a print to a digital, digital experience. And then you can also click that view QR code on the bottom and that will simulate that neighbor experience of scanning a postcard because it would probably be really awkward for you to hold up two phones and try to scan a QR code. So I was like, we should probably include a button there for you. So um, go ahead and open up your app, click on it, um, and you can go through the full landing page experience. And then um, it, it's just really helpful. You could do this for Google, Google Ads as well. And that's on my next slide. So um, I know it's been a highly requested feature to be able to see your Google Ads and what they look like, what information's out there. Um, if you click on it, you can preview the Google Ads as well. And then we do two types of Google Ads. We actually do an image ad and a text ad. And then on both of those ads, you can click learn more and then you can see where they take you. Um, it'll bring you to a landing, landing page experience where the neighbor can actually put it in their address and get a CMA. And I'm gonna actually walk you through this entire process with the landing page as well. Um, so I'm really excited to show that for you. And then another big piece of this is we did this on the website too. There are actually two versions of how it works. There's a version if you're not logged in allows you to populate your information and preview everything. The second version is a logged in experience I'm gonna share with you. And I'm gonna walk you through that neighbor experience, um, scanning the QR code, visiting the landing page and how to get property estimates. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, hop over to my second screen. So I'm on Nosy Neighbor. I'm actually just gonna to go to the front page. And then if I go into the support tab and I go over into the FAQs, there's a see how it works section. And then I just put a little brief description of what all of these are, how we're putting them together. Um, some background here, we are using mock property data to populate this information. We're not using real listings. This is completely simulated experience so that you can actually go through and see what that neighbor experience looks like. So um, I'm currently logged in. Like I mentioned, there's two versions. There's a logged in version and a logged out version. So we're gonna go through the logged in version just because all of you are existing Nosy customers. So if I click on postcards, get preview, it's actually gonna populate, which you probably have all seen before because it's in your profile on the website. This is also on your mobile app. Um, and then you can click the view QR code and that's gonna take you to this page. And this is the very first step for a neighbor. So they're gonna have, um, by accepting you agree to our terms that a real estate professional lender may call or text you about this inquiry. And I think it's very second nature for people to just hit yes, like that accept button is very, um, I don't know, just calls out to you. And then another piece about this, I don't know um, if any of you have seen this piece, but if this is not you, and typically that contact name is going to say like, hi, John, but first, but let's say like Sally is in the household and actually is taking John's postcard, um, they have an opportunity to say, hey, I'm actually not John and Sally. And they can click here and then update their information and that information will be passed over to you. Um, this could happen, um, hopefully not too often, but because postcards are being mailed to households, uh, somebody else in the household might pick it up and scan it. So um, that's, that's one of our ways that we try to correct information for you. And then let's say I, I accidentally click this, I can go back, I'm gonna hit accept. And then when I do all this, it's not creating a contact to your account. You're not going to get updates. This is a complete simulated experience. Um, and then you're going to go through the landing page experience as if you are a neighbor. So the first thing we ask you is uh, your neighbor's home just listed their home. And then here's the here's the property. Um, how much do you think it's listed for? Um, Hank, do you want to take a guess on this one? Let's see, this is uh, actually a couple of zip codes away from me. I'm going to guess um, four beds, three baths, 2,400 square feet. Um, I'm going to guess 605. Okay. Who knows? Let's, let's do it. So it was actually listed okay. for 550,000. Uh, it's definitely more. I'm going to say more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so I'm going to ask you if you're interested in selling soon. Do you think you might want to sell your house in the next year? Um, no. 
No? Okay. Well, it's okay. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can send me the uh, weekly list of new listings for sure. <laughs> um, that's okay. All right. So, it, you know, and then I'm going to ask you, is it okay if I email you a weekly list of the latest news listing and sales in your area? Um, and you said that's totally fine. So I'm going to yeah, say yes. I actually already have one, one agent who's sending me these. Oh, um, perfect. And it'll be interesting to compare notes. Awesome. So, and then once you've hit yes, it's actually going to pull up the branding from your, from your account, from your nosy neighbor account. Um, so it says, hey, great. I'll start sending you updates soon. In the meantime, feel free to call or text me. Um, I'm happy to help you. And then it shows your photo, your name, um, your office, and then also your website as well. So there's a little blurb there. And then there's actually, if we want to go back, we can do a, the one where you say, yes, you are interested in selling your home. It's a different experience. And Gracie, and, just, just to remind us, I'm seeing some questions come up. Um, you are on the nosyneighbor.com website, right? And that you, you went through a simulated experience to get here, this new simulated experience that we talked about, right? Right. Yep. So if you're on Nosy Neighbor, make sure you want to sign in to your account, go into support, and then it's under the FAQs. And then I just hit preview postcards. And then on this piece, I also would like to call out when um, I hit that accept button, our, my information gets sent to you automatically this way. Um, that's, that is our opt-in trigger, um, which is really, really nice. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. We know that you said, I think 550 last time, and then um, you said more. And then do you think this house um, will sell in the next year? Let's say maybe. Um, and then, so this page, what it's gonna do, is you're gonna get the home value report um, where you could put in your own address or you could search home. So if you hit search homes, it actually takes you to your website that you have in Nosy Neighbor uh, for them to go in and go through your website. So we direct them to, to your site. And then the other piece is, um, let's say I wanna get a rough estimate of that home value. So I went on realtor.com today and I just literally grabbed the first uh, property I saw. So I'm just gonna punch in it and show you what that kind of looks like. And I just copy paste it over. And then I think the zip code, let me grab that. I'm gonna hit get estimate. And then it's gonna tell you your estimated value. So this one is a range of 242,000 to 303,000. We really call out on this page that this is an automated starting point, not your home's true value. Um, the best way is to get your values through um, an in-person valuation or over a call or text. And then we provide your information for them to get back to you. I also notice our estimates are pretty close to what Realtor has. So this home that I grabbed is actually for sale at 225, which makes me think that they probably went in a little bit lower than our estimate just because they want to probably sell it pretty quick. Um, but Good thing is our estimates aren't too far off, which is really great. Uh, I know estimates can definitely range quite a bit between Redfin and Zillow and Remax. So um, we try to be right there as close as we can and always looking at how we can improve our estimates as well. So this is the complete overview of that postcard preview experience and just um, a wrap on this one. When you see that postcard, um, this is really that, that button view QR code that's as if the neighbor is taking their phone out and scanning that QR code. And then that was the whole experience that would happen on their phone. Um, it's just really nice to have that on a web experience. I know a lot of you are at your desktops. Um, so if you just ever curious what that flow looks like, um, you can hop in there anytime and check it out. All right, and then I'm gonna go through the Google ads experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, get preview. And then I'm gonna be able to pull up, as I mentioned, there was two, two types, there's the text, and image ads. And then you go ahead and click learn more. And it's gonna take you to um, a very generic CMA landing page uh, through Google. So, but once they do that, click learn more, Google's very smart at grabbing their information and being able to opt them in. Um, it's a very seamless transaction, but this landing page is branded towards you. Um, just a very quick place for them to get some kind of piece of material out of 
um, actually opting in for that neighbor. And that, that's the same place that the image ad goes to as well. Just want to call that out. And then if you're curious, uh, Git preview. So for emails, Nosy Neighbor has an email campaign they do before uh, pre-opt-in. So if I am a neighbor and I'm getting a postcard and I haven't scanned it yet, um, they're getting that email campaign. So if you are curious on what that email campaign looks like and the information that we're sharing, you can say send now and you can send it directly to the account, the email address that's on your account. And then you can go through all of those. Um, I hope this really helps just uh, so that you can really understand how the product is working, what we're doing behind the scenes. And you could do this on the mobile, you could you could request all these three types, and then you can also do it on the web experience. I am just, I'm so thrilled about this feature. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to hop into some more stuff that we're working on. So coming soon enhancements. Oh, sorry, I'm not sure my slide deck. There we go. Uh, coming soon enhancements we have. So I'm going to just go over some stuff that we're currently working on and some things to get excited about that we're just hoping to continue to push on. So I'm going to jump into that. One of the big things is the activity center. We are looking at how we can find a go-to spot in the mobile app where you can find out what's happening in your neighborhood. So we'll provide you with the most latest mail postcards, emails, opt-in in contacts, um, and it'll display up to the last 30 days to help you figure out like what is exactly happening behind the scenes with Nosy Neighbor. And then, you know, which contacts you should probably should be, you know, following up with, adding notes to, viewing details on, and seeing all their activity. Um, this is going to be those touch points, like a very, like this happened when, and then if you actually go into the contact card, so if you see their name, that is going to be a hyperlink that's going to pull up their actual contact card, and then you can add those notes too. So our goal here is really to provide everything Nosy is doing behind the scenes in one place, and we're really looking forward to this enhancement to keep you informed and um, top of mind on what's going on with Nosy Neighbor. Another big mobile enhancement, this one is a very big project. I know I've been talking about it for a little bit of time now. Um, the neighbor and contact cards and how the call now and text now sections will be changed. So we're definitely trying to simplify the contact and neighbor cards for the for that experience. Um, some things to notice with the change with the changes that we're having coming is that the contact card will now be labeled green, neighbor with blue, just to have some consistency. The total neighbors and contacts will display in their dashboard metrics instead of how many you've called or texted. So you'll know um, I need to follow up with, with these totals. And then the cards themselves will tell a lot more detail and you'll know the nearby listing that we've targeted with a postcard. You'll be able to show their most recent activity. I think that's the one huge enhancement that'll be really nice instead of having, I feel like sometimes you kind of have to dig to find the recent activity. Um, I want it to be like very front and center so that we, you're totally ready to hop on a call with them. And then their name will also link to their records so that you can add notes to them. Um, the cards will be prioritized in the future so you'll know who to follow up with first. And you can also see there is an opt-in date next to the contact record and an added date next to the neighbor so you can more easily tell the difference between a contact and a neighbor. And our goal with these changes is to reduce confusion, improve communication, and make you more effective agents and brokers. So if you're new to Nosy, just some background information. Um, a contact is someone who has opted in by scanning a QR code from a postcard or clicked on a Google ad or email um, like those previews that I showed you. Um, with those opted in touch points. And then contacts are really, you know, the first person you should be following up with because they have actually shown that they're interested in being reached out to. Um, a neighbor is pre opted in contact who has um, been added to your neighbor list in the app. And we began targeting based on a listing that is just sold or listed. Um, to help remember with a contact and neighbor, neighbor are, I recommend uh, referring to the opted in and added dates on your dashboard. And then I have one more enhancement that we're currently working on. So uh, we wanna change the message template. Uh, if you would like to use a different template, you, we would like you to be able to do that. And um, you'll be able to edit the template, hit save, and then those uh, template changes will actually carry over to the just listed and sold uh, templates. And then we're also fixing the house price format and then the dollar sign. And I know there's like a few commas that need to be fixed. Um, so we're going through and just doing a full cleanup on that and then making sure that there is dynamic formatting. So 
if you ever go through those uh, templates, you'll notice that it has like dynamic formatting on the, on the first name, um, the property and the price. So those dynamic pieces are gonna carry over with this cha template change and then um, you'll be able to edit around those as well. So hopefully this saves you time when you just wanna copy paste and send from your own device um, and customize your message. All right, so I'm gonna be reviewing our tips and tricks today and we're gonna cover the behind the scenes on how Nosy Neighbor works for you and finding neighbors. I, I think this question comes up a lot is like, how do we do it behind the scenes? You know, are, how are we picking listings? How are we targeting? So I'm gonna do a complete deep dive of that today. Um, so bear with me and it'll, it'll be quite, it'll be a little complex, but um, I think it'll be a lot of fun just going over it. All right, so it's, um, over behind the scenes, Nosy first identifies neighbors by looking up homes in your zip code and that have just listed or sold to begin targeting your brand too. So our first step, we pull the consumer listing and transaction data. That transaction data is really the just sold information we collect on the listing. Um, when I when I refer to transaction data, it's really the sold, um, sold information is what I'm saying. And then we match up neighbors with listings. So once we have a match, we grab 10 of those neighbors and begin sending emails and postcards. And I'll walk you through that. So um, we grab the consumer data, we grab listing data and transaction data. So we look at the neighborhood and try to line up all this information we have available. We do all this because listings are really the most valuable opportunity for real estate agents. Once a listing goes active in a neighborhood, more will follow. And the National Association of Realtors and R found that when a house sells, three of the home owners in the closest 20 houses will consider selling within three weeks. And this really is why we built Nosy because we know once a neighborhood becomes active, um, more homes are more likely to follow. Because um, it's kind of nice when you know you own a home and you see that um, your home value has gone up, and maybe your circumstances have changed, and maybe it's time for you to sell. So it's always good to get in touch with an agent. And then, so what we do is we grab all that consumer data, we pull down all the homeowners we know about the zip, and we collect everyone. Uh, in this collection, we grab their phone number, email address, and their home address, um, while well, mailing address as well. So if we don't have a full set of information to provide, uh, provide you, we won't allocate postcards to them. We try to get you, our goal is really to find you a complete set of contact information so you can use the call now and text now newsy features, and our email campaigns are successful. So after we collect our neighbors, we look up all the listings in your zip code that have been just listed um, in the last seven days. And then we grab the transaction data within the last seven days, which is those solds. And then I'll go into more detail how this all kind of plays out um, in our system and later in our slides. So we are consistently um, updating our consumer data. You might see changes to your neighbors within your mobile app from time to time because we are refreshing the latest contact information we could find for you. Uh, we are also checking listing data for just sold daily. We go far, we go as far back as a, as a week. So if you're in a zip code that hasn't seen listing updates that day, uh, don't worry, we go back a week until we do find listings um, to start targeting towards. And then as a complete overview, step one, we are grabbing listings by pulling an address of all listings and transactions that have occurred in the last seven days. Step two, we check if neighbors exist in your zip code. We use the latitude and longitude of all the houses nearby the closest neighbors to the listings. Step three, we match the neighbors and listings. We associate the neighbor's location and contact information into one con contact with association to that listing. Um, if, you're un if you're ever wondering why in the mobile app you see on the contact card that just listed property or sold, that's the property we identify the neighbors nearby. Um, and then also on step four, Nosy Neighbor starts creating tangible output. We send postcards, emails to the targeted neighbors. We also put them in a pre-opt-in campaign that I showed um, on that How It Works slides. And then you could also request that campaign now, which is really helpful. <laughs> and then um, within, okay, so within the first day of owning your zip code, um, here are the following steps that take place behind the scenes on Nosy. So step one, we generate a list of individual contact records, um, those neighbors, and then the result, and hypothetically, um, the result is in that zip code, we grab 10,000 individual neighbor records. 
step two, we find homes that sold or just listed in that last seven days. That result would be hypothetically maybe 15 homes that just listed or sold. And then step three, we start with home one of 15, which neighbors are in one eighth mile radius of listing one of 15. So result would be four homes. And then we say, do we have 10 contacts? Do we have 10 neighbors? Um, and if that's not the case, we have to keep digging. So, oh, oops, I went a little fast. I'm new to the slides changing with the step-by-steps. So I think one, two, three. So on step four, which houses are in a quarter mile of the listing? Um, then we, we, pretty much what we're doing here on the step four is we're just expanding that radius search until we get you 10 contacts per day. Um, and that's really what we're doing so that we can make sure that we have enough people to send postcards to that are really relevant to the listing activity in the area. And then, um, let me go to slide 21. So let's say on day 57 of owning your zip code, uh, we can skip step one because we've already grabbed the locations of all those neighbors. Um, on the step two, we do want to continue to find homes that just sold or listed within that seven days. And then that result hypothetically could be that we found five homes. And then the next step would be that we would continue to cycle through at a quarter mile or one, one eighth mile radius of the listing. And then we continue to find enough homes until we find enough contacts to be able to start sending out postcards too. So um, behind the scenes, it has to do with a lot of math, um, longitude and latitude, and also making sure that we have a complete picture of that neighbor. So like I mentioned, we wanna have their name, their email, their phone number, um, and their address so that we can make sure that you can reach out to them with all the methods that we provide you on Nosy. And then that meant I just mentioned the connect these neighbors send postcards. Okay, perfect. And then um, here are some customer examples of looking up listings to neighbors. So we just went through some accounts and saw that on October 15th in Colorado, which is where I'm at, um, there is an active listing we detected and the neighbor was only 400 feet away. And then on the 21st in New Jersey, you can see that the neighbor we found was 400 feet away as well. I thought it was a little interesting about Google Maps. Um, I noticed that in Colorado, it's a minute walk um, on the same distance for New Jersey. It's, I think it's like a, a two minute walk for 400 feet. I don't know why, <laughs> but I just thought that was kind of interesting to call out. And then on October 26th in Georgia, we located a neighbor 525 feet even away and then even closer in Oklahoma. So our goal really is to line up as close as we can neighbors to listings to send your marketing to. And really, I hope you found this overview really helpful of how Nosy Neighbor works. Now you can preview the entire neighbor experience, um, full transparency on how everything works. And then also um, the, the behind the scenes, the math and calculations that we're doing to be able to generate and focus your postcards in the right areas. Um, I also want to take some time. I'm sure there are a ton of questions um, to address any open QA and give live feedback. So I'm going to go ahead and, and see where we're at with the Q&A. Hey, yeah, Gracie, there's a couple of questions uh, relating to the neighbor experience okay. demo. And um, there's a question about um, the title and the subject line um, not being there. Is that something... Um, uh, we, we don't put that in there for, uh, for nosy neighbor, but the, the title in the subject line, or excuse me, the, the, um, yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding title in the subject line. I don't know. Um, maybe, maybe this person, Normalina, um, if you can elaborate Normalina, it, it looks like the, um, it, it doesn't show that she is a broker in the subject line and she wants that to be updated broker oh. agent realtor etc got it okay so you would like your title to be shown in the subject line can this be updated uh currently we do not have a way to update the email campaigns but this is a great feature that we can definitely look into um i hope i hope that helps to answer the question for you normalina um Okay, uh, and then Robin, see. I oh, go ahead, what Bob. email address are these slides sent from? 
Um, so I think the the slides are sent from. You mean probably the recording yeah. of the video. Oh, yeah. um, I think it's an inside real estate generic email address that goes out. Um, I yeah, would have it could to be Morgan at Inside Real Estate, and then there's uh, a couple others that we've used in the past, but it's always an at Inside Real Estate email address. Thank you. Okay, and then I have one more from Kevin. I'm on a three month and have not had a single lead to answer back. Use text now and email and called. Um, what what do you suggest in capturing these leads? So one of the big things that we do, I, I suggest for sure when you're starting out Nosy Neighbor is going to the website and we have some really good case studies on there on what you with some tips and tricks that you can do to help with conversion. So um, if you want to look through those, we have those here. You can look at Zach's. I know what Zach does is puts about like an hour a day towards just doing follow-up. And then I'm not sure if, um, I think if AJ's here, but AJ is a huge candidate um, who also has a case study on our website of using text messaging. Um, and then there also are some other marketplace tools that you can use with like adding video to your text message. I know a lot of people have seen responses with that as well. Um, what I would recommend is just continue to follow up and see what you can do to get, you know, get people to opt in. And also sometimes it's just about starting a conversation and finding you know, what works best. Yeah, and this is on the Nosy Neighbor website, the, the case study. So if you hit uh, read case study, uh, it's right here for you. And then I, I'd also point you to Kevin, um, going to support.insiderealestate.com, typing in Nosy. There is uh, scripts there as well that we've highlighted in the past in, in, the, in this webinar, but those are, those are also helpful as well. Oh, good call out. Um, so Kevin, I'm gonna, I'm, I might've went a little quick. So if you're in the support section and you go to support information, you can also reference our nosy neighbor help articles. And that's where oh, I click to. Yeah. Yep. I honestly, I think it just has to do with follow-up. Um, you could also change the campaigns in KV Core. We've done that on a previous webinar. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of tips and tricks that you can do um, through the case studies, just reading up and seeing what, what people, have, what has worked for others. And then also trying to change your message or, or try to be more unique in how you do your outreach. Um, I know we, we definitely have a lot of ways for some scripts for you to study just to help with those conversations. Um, anything else you would like to add, Hank, to, the, to that question? No, I just, I just like to say that, um, you know, it's, it's great that you're making an investment in your future. Nosy Neighbor is not about the today, just about the today and getting, getting the lead today, but, um, you're effectively laying a foundation for when inventories open up. I just saw a report yesterday that inventories are at a record, record low. Um, and I'm sure everyone on this call is, is really feeling that in, in hard ways. And um, just keep moving forward. Um, it's going it, things to are, things are going to give eventually. And you're making an investment in that, in, in your database and in your um, ability to, to connect with people in your market. Yep, absolutely. Uh, inside real estate support is where the scripts are located. Um, actually, how about we just give you the link? Is that what you're doing yeah, already? Yeah, I'm doing that right now, yep. Oh, perfect. Support.insideRealEstate.com. This has been a lot of fun. We had 22 questions come through, that's great. And also, I just wanna call out before we wrap up, um, that support deck, how to contact support. I think it's so important if you do see something and you're even, you're not even, maybe you're not sure if it's a bug, that's totally okay. Our support team can help. They know how to explain how the product works. Um, we're also here for you. And then as I mentioned, you know, on these webinars, I'm gonna go over our enhancements, the bugs that we're fixing and how we're just gonna continually improve Nosy Neighbor. Um, in a lot of ways, there's always things that we can build upon and, and we take in that feedback and, and try to think of ways that we can make the experience better. Um, Hank, thanks for answering all the Q and A. I really appreciate all your help on that. Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up our webinar and I'll see you all in two weeks. So thank you again for joining. All right. Keep your eyes peeled for a, a recap video coming your way too.
Thank you.